what broke him down? Was it just Constantly the pressure? body punches. When I was, I was hitting him with body punches, I heard him, actually, he was crying in there, making woman gestures like, oh, 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 I can't How, find yeah. it, but I knew that he was breaking down soon. for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. The referee of this bout is Randy Newman. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with red trim. He weighs an even 218 pounds from Otsika, New Jersey. His professional record, 22 victories against only two defeats, 17 knockouts to his credit, and 14 of those 17 KOs within five rounds or less. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one heavyweight challenger in the world today, Carl, the truth, Williams. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks and weighing in at 219 and one quarter pounds from Catskill, New York. His professional record is unblemished with 36 consecutive victories, 32 knockouts, 28 KOs in five rounds or less, and 16 in the first round alone. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undisputed, the undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Fight Tyson! The reason people fear Mike Tyson is because he's one of the few, if not the only man, that can knock you out in the heavyweight division with one punch. At the devastating left hook. And what Tyson does here, he wee bobs and wees, gets under that jab and counters with a beautiful left hook. Can we assume that Michael Dokes is one of the prospects? All comers. Come one, come all, because nobody can get close to me. They're not even close. I'm the best fighter in the world. Let's get ready to rumble 12 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner wearing the white trunks with black trim and weighing in at 212 and one quarter pounds. He's originally from St. Louis, Missouri, now lives in Wilmington, Delaware. This Olympic gold medal champion has a professional record of 31 victories without a loss, 21 by knockout. He is the former undisputed and undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world and the only king of that division ever to win the heavyweight title in the history of boxing. Because he never lost that title in the ring, he is still recognized by many, including Boxing Illustrated and Ring Magazine, as the heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated man who brings the jinx, Michael Speed. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks and weighing 218 and one quarter pounds. Originally from the streets of Brooklyn, he passed through the hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Custom Motto, Catskill, New York, and he now lives in North New Jersey. His professional record, 34 consecutive victories with 30 knockouts, including 26 KOs in five rounds or less and 15 in the first round alone. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undisputed, the undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Fight Tyson. Now watch Tyson jump right into his chest. Ooh. 
Michael Spinks. Michael Spinks has to keep moving because every shot. Oh, uppercut landed. Well, I can't remember it much because it was just a, it was so quick, a right hand. But my main objective was to come out here and take him out. Put the right hand to the body. The right hand to the body. Yeah, a, right, a left uppercut and a right to the body. My producer is telling me in my ear is that what started uh, the beginning of the end. You have means of landing it on the target. And he didn't hit me with one punch. Inside and Spinks went down. It was the left uppercut. Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. And he's down again. Michael Spinks started out pretty slow. And here we see Tyson, as usual, going to the body. A great uppercut that sent Mike, Michael Spinks to the canvas. Serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. Six, seven, eight. He's not going to make it. It's all over. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble from the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino by way of Convention Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. 15 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks and weighs 228 and three quarter pounds. He's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This Olympic gold medal champion has 15 consecutive victories, 10 by knockout. Introducing the number one challenger in the world, Tyrell B. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks. He weighs 216 pounds. From Catskill, New York, 27 of his 31 unblemished victories are by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Gentlemen, you received your instructions prior to coming to the ring. Therefore, I expect a good, clean bout. If you have any questions, touch gloves, but back to your corner. Good luck. Three questions that Mike Tyson really has to answer. Can he cope with a clever boxer? Can he survive a heavy puncher? Tyson is applying the pressure, trying to slow his man down. I'm seeing more jazz from Mike Tyson than I've seen in the past. On the part of uh, Tyrell Biggs, good lateral movement. Throw the jab like he's doing now, not to let Tyson set up. It's very good. You have said that Biggs has to go side to side to win the fight, right? Go side to side, give your man angles. He's trying for the head. Now we see him head. Now Tyson also said that. He has found a pattern in Tyrell Biggs that he, before the punch actually is thrown. Well, whatever he does, the fact that Tyson has to set up, man up, that's the way, get him back into the center that's ring. It. See, a good snapping jab is very effective. Whether or not Biggs can keep this up is yet to be seen. Use the jab again. And come with that right hand. That was a quick little overhand. It's not time to be pretty in here, it's just time to frustrate this man. And that's what they want from, Ty from uh, Biggs. Mike Tyson, he can't get into that. That was a good shot by Tyson. Get off the ropes, tie your man up. That's the way. And along the lines of patterns, Biggs feels that Tyson actually bobs in a pattern. Teofilo Stevenson, and I admit it was five years ago, but he really bothered There is the hook, again, because his hands are down. He's moving right, but he keeps his hands down too low. I'm loose. Biggs is starting to become a stationary target, which is wrong. Right hand by Tyson. Move. A very good round, using the left hand as well as he can. That is exactly what Biggs must do to stay in this fight. He'll run right to the left hook. Keeping that jab consistent, 
moving lateral, giving angles. But then he, the last maybe 45 seconds of the round, bar, he stopped. He became a stationary target. Can Tyson neutralize the jab? You see, Biggs was doing great the first two minutes of the first round, which I think is a, a, a major mistake because of Tyson's hand speed. And Tyson throws his punch, he loops his right hand. Fight according to his fight plan, but he still took some strong shots from Tyson. You see, now Biggs again are starting to stand there and exchange toe to toe, like I said earlier. You can't do that. Tyson's punches come so fast. And the way that Biggs is moving to his right. And the game plan was for give Biggs rather to move to his left. Bring those hands down even lower. Remember, Stevenson broke three ribs of Tyrell Biggs. I'm looking for a left hook, Barry. Look at the right hand of uh, Tyrell Biggs. And the right hand does the most damage. There was a big right hand. Best punch of the fight. That was the left hook, Barry. That was the left hook I was talking about. Biggs has been on his uh, flat-footed more in this round than he was in the first round. Got nailed with the left hook. He has shown in the past that he takes a good punch. And Big starts the third round backing up a little bit. And working a jab like Kevin Rooney stated. People don't realize this, and I learned this from Andrew Dundee. It's not a matter how long you jab, but that offsets someone else's jab. Now the left hook. The hook's gonna land all night, Barry, because his right hand is down. But the fact of the matter is, the right hand is down. And a body shot with the left hand. It's the same eye, the same cut. And another big left hand and Biggs is hurt. A lot of blood from the left eye of Tyrell Biggs. That's the same as the fact that you have a jab, use it. No mistake. That's something you pointed out before the fight. And now it's Tyson just hammering him. A lot of work in the corner of Tyrell Biggs to stop that bleeding. The cut is right above the eye. It's exactly in the same place as the last one. Because he's not boxed, he's not using his tools. He's trying to outmuscle Mike Tyson. And there's a huge left hand. Right hand body shot and the left hand behind it by Tyson. But again, I don't, know, I don't know why they don't pick it up in Big's corner, the way Tyson steps in and leaves his chin so vulnerable. A little more body movement from uh, Tyrell Biggs now. Start throwing some uppercuts. He took a big left hand there. And another. But Biggs is doing almost everything exactly the opposite of what he said he was going to do. Huge left hand there by Tyson. And a combination by Tyson, a left and a right behind it. In front of you, uh, the fact that <laughs> Biggs is not doing what he what he worked on. I don't know if Tyrell's going to recognize himself when he wakes up tomorrow morning. I don't know what that was a second ago. Simple. Well, I think this is a good education for the public because he continues, Barry, to allow Mike to dominate. Just because Tyson is hard. Good body shot by Mike Tyson. And Biggs holding on a great deal now. There was a right hand by Tyson. And another. Mike Tyson's fight. I love those body shots there. Quick kill, and try to do it, generally speaking, with one punch. You know what's happening here, actually. These two, of course, go back a long way, all the way back to amateur days. Another left hand, and there's a great shot. Biggs is in trouble. And he's slowly but surely wearing down. Biggs, you have to say, he, he, he takes a good shot, but it, uh, if your legs are gone, stand and fight them. Stand toe to toe and fight them. Point in the last round, our punch that figures Tyrell Biggs threw 15 punches, Ray. 
I break, no punch him, step back He dropped Snipes with a good right hand. But he didn't put him away. The elbow there. Oh, that punch That was a tremendous left hand. Big one, and I feel like I'm being redundant with that, but he hit him with many big left hands, Ray. Well, look at look at the right hand of uh, Tyrell Biggs. It's down, and the left hook has been landing from round one. But the first the first minute or two of round one, Biggs was doing his job, boxing. Now he becomes a stationary target. That total toe tactics proved wrong against David Bay. Oh, this, this is it. He is gone right now. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's down again. It's over. It's all over. And it wasn't even close. And what we've seen has happened so often in which a fighter after a few rounds starts to hang on to Tyson that we have to say it's Tyson's credit. He's the one who makes it happen. He makes it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes, 59 seconds of the seventh round. The winner, still the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson! Ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, with a professional record of 20 wins, four defeats with 14 KOs. He was a gold medalist in the 23rd Olympiad in Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Henry Tillman. And in the red corner, from Catskill, New York, Weighing 217 pounds, his professional record consists of 37 wins, one defeat with 33 KOs. He is a former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Uh, Tyson has been a very determined uh, fighter and part of his career, and he does look like he's on the assault early to me. Knockout early. He wants to punish this guy for what Buster Douglas did to him. Mike Tyson is not going to have Henry Tillman around here very long. The thing that he wants to show here is exactly what I expected from him. Tyson is a determined young man tonight. As he comes back, misses the left hook. He's very aggressive. He's not using that jab that we heard Mike Tyson. Oh, the right hand! I doubt if he'll be able to get up from this. He hit a flush on the jaw with the right hand. It's up to six and seven and eight and nine and ten. It's all over. Tyson, a first round knockout. He's got everything going. What a shot. Tyson moves in for the kill. Here it is. He's got everything, everything going. And he catches him right at the height of his punch. A bang, he nails him. It's all over. Time, two minutes, 47 seconds of the first round. The winner by a knockout, Iron Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson entering as the warrior. The characteristic, no socks, no robe look. So it was a heavyweight to be contended with, with wins as we saw earlier over the likes of Quick Tillis and Bone Crusher Smith. He can fight very, very quickly. Uppercut and Marvis is hurt. Razor is down. Joe Cortez moves in to have a look. And he's going to stop the fight. It did not last 20 seconds. He's precise. I watched his hand come up. Watch him come down. As soon as he come down, boom! <laughs> Look at that. Watch him come down. I knew he would come down. Get ready to say boom again, Michael. My boom. Look, and now look. Boom. Come on. Boom. Again. I'm going to hit him one more time. I like to hit him. Performance. How can you tell him he's got to improve? Well, I'm going to tell him that he could have went to the body a little bit more. You know, in 30 seconds, it, it's hard to get any criticism, but he could have worked the body a little bit more. 
Tremendous uppercut. He looks sensational, Kevin. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. He's, re he's ready. He's ready to fight anybody in the world. The attending physicians at ringside, Drs. Cliff Omansky, Donald Romeo, and Elias Dunham. This is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the unification of the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Houston, Texas, weighing 221 pounds, with a professional record of 34 wins, no defeats, 29 KOs, he is the IBF heavyweight champion of the world, Tony TNT Tucker. And in the red corner, from Catskills, New York, he too weighs 221 pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career. 30 wins, no defeats, with 27 KOs. He is the WBA and WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Okay, now, here we go, now, protect yourself at all times. In the equation of Mr. Tucker is Chief Second. In the equation of Mr. Tyson, the Chief Second. Let's get it on, come on. As it were. And we'll see what kind of tactic Tucker takes. I have figured that he should at least tie his man up, try to frustrate Mike Tyson. But is he strong enough to do that? Now well, let's see the uppercut almost immediately after the bell. He follows a right with a left and rocks Tyson. The first time we've ever seen Tyson really rock back like that. Well, that was a good right hand by Tucker. That might have been the best shot that Mike Tyson has ever taken right there. And no one gave Tucker a chance. We always felt that he was susceptible to take jazz, but I think what Tyson stops by a punch. Tucker said when we talked to him, he said, I'm not worried about what he's going to do to me. I'm worried about what I'm going to do to him. That's confidence. Another right hand. Frankly, I didn't think he fought that well, but it was against James Broad. Against Douglas, he fought a little bit better. And another right hand by Tucker. That was a left hand by Tyson. Get back, clean. Here we go. Again, a right hand, but he took a right from Tyson. And another big right by Mike Tyson. Did a very good first round for both men, and particularly for Tucker. And he's followed up with left uppercut, left hook. Led with the left uppercut that time. Just has to keep those hands up. Well, you know, Ray, I, I hearken back to your fight with Marvin Hagler. Where... Body shot by Tyson. What Kevin Rooney was telling him to do in the corner. Tyson change. That was a good example. That uppercut was going to do the job over and over again. Very smart thing to do. He really wants to frustrate Mike Tyson. There was a left hand by Tyson. As a referee. No nonsense guy. Tucker with another left hook to the head of Mike Tyson. In close, catching Tyson on the way in. He's finished with the left hook, Barry. And Tony Tucker to get that hook and that uppercut in. It's better than I've ever seen him do. You don't disagree with us. I don't tactics. disagree at all because Tony's been tying his man up. There you see Tucker backing up, catching Tyson on the way in with his long arms. And there, an uppercut. There was a good right hand by Tucker again. But they're uppercuts, Barry. Do you notice they're uppercuts? 
Again, we teach Tanner. Well, in the corner of uh, Mike Tyson, Kevin would say, we need to see combinations, not look for one punch. And that's where normally Tyson's able to get intensity in, in uh, Tony. Into Tucker, there you saw that he followed a right to the body that was an effective Ray Tucker. There was a big left hand by Tyson, and that was the one big punch. And another one. You see, this is what Tyson wanted. He wanted uh, Tucker to stand there and exchange punch for punch. In this case, normally, Tyson comes out on top. Get him up, get him up, Tucker, come on. Tucker appears unhurt again. Definitely has his legs back under him after being hurt earlier in this round. What a good shot. And Tyson with another left hand. He affected Mike's punches because he's not able to get his punches in there. He initiated respect. He stood his ground. He rocked Mike Tyson the first round with a beautiful uppercut. So there's mutual respect here on the chin of Tony Tucker. You know, something that could become a factor that you never thought would have been... Good hand speed by uh, Tony Tucker. In front of him, he said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move and I'll be firing. And Guys, he just walked in directly in front of Tony Tucker. Tucker and that's why Tony's able to get those punches off. He should be him a little more head movement. Left, right, left, right. Be less of a target. by Tyson. So I think Tony Tucker has surprised a lot of people. Right hand by Tyson. Energy by pushing a man off. Right hand by Tyson. Tie him up and break that rhythm. I haven't seen anybody be able to push him off. Press me with his foot move because I didn't expect that much from him. But the fact of the matter is, it's making matters very, very tough for Mike Tyson. Tyson looks right now like he's in it for the long haul here. And this is good fighting now that he's settled down. The great fighters don't go out looking for a quick knockout. The great fighters go out and fight. And when the opportunity for the big punch comes in, they take it. And there was a big right hand. Tucker says, no, no, I'm not hurt. I've always found that to mean I'm hurt. Took another right hand, got cute. I think he's watched my fight before. Yeah, I think he has too. I think his timing is not as good as yours. Uh, Tucker's really throwing Tyson off. Not allowing him to get inside and be effective. First round when he rocked Mike Tyson. He said, hey, I can punch too. Tyson's jab in the last three rounds has been effective in allowing him to get inside on Tony Tucker. That first fight, he got a cramp in his left arm in the first round, a knot actually formed, and it was with him the whole fight. But there was a rumor about Tyson, or rather Tucker's right hand, that he had injured his right hand, and that's why he backed off training for the last few days. Once again, Tucker trying to get cute and mugging with Tyson, which brings the crowd alive. Well, when you do that, and I know from experience because I invented it, you got to be very careful. Well, in a fight of this intensity, this magnitude, when you're fighting, you really don't feel it because those drill is blowing, and you don't feel the pain. He did throw a right uppercut there, which missed. Another left hand. Okay, I like that in, in, in uh, Mike Tyson. the right hand by Tucker. I'm surprised there's not a lot of head movement from Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson seems to have gained control of the fight. When guys are in tremendous shape, it's very tough to see what, you know, to, to tell whether or not they're hurt or not. Oh, not whether he's going to win the mile race. That right hand seems to have hurt Tucker. His knees seem to buckle just a full second. Right hand up on the top of the head. Come on, Archie, get off! Five rounds ago. Yes, you have to move that head in order to get inside and not be... Here we go, here we go. 
Get him up, both of you. Come on. He's very susceptible to the uppercut. There's a right hand by Tucker that backed Tyson off. That was a big left hand, but again, Tucker shakes his head. I'm okay. A lot of times, my left hook of Tyson's landed because... Penalizing, let's do some punching. Jab now. A good, short, strong fast left jab of Mike Tyson and the reason for that is because of the way that Tony Tucker is approaching it has approached this fight or the percentage of punches that are landed well if in fact ring generalship is a key factor in judging a fight I Tony Tucker's right hand now is dropping and that is asking this jab will get him closer to the taller man Tucker and then he can throw his punches once again, though, you see what's happening here. That short jab, then step. Like that. Short jab, then step in. Get close. Now come. There was. That's what you have to do. That's what he has to do, brother. Not a jab that you use just to keep a man off of you. Both guys reaching in with their chins first. Tyson was a little short with both that right and the left. 15 rounds, as we mentioned. We are, of course... Do you reverse the crowd's uh, approval? And the reason there's frustration is because of what Tucker's doing. Really tying his man up. Those little antics there sometimes work. I mean, he's fighting his fight. He's doing his thing. Tucker's fighting a great fight. An effective victory. It was interesting to hear Kevin Rooney in the corner saying, with these judges, you never know. you got to go out there and win this round big. Done the best job he could, he could possibly do against a guy as mobile, hand speed, height, and reach advantage. Well, expert, I'm going to show you, and this is what he did tonight. Yeah, and he has, even if he oh, loses the... Step back, Mike. Not hand with this one. Saying he had the big hat, and while maybe he didn't have all the cattle, at least he had a couple of cows. <laughs> Crowd getting a little tired of that. He was, he was a little intimidating. He would try to make me think that he was fresh and he was ready to go when he was not tired. I wouldn't expect him. That was a big left hand. Tucker says, no, 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 no. I'm all right. I'm all right. Tucker seems to be fighting the kind of fight that he thinks he's winning. Tony Tucker talked the talk and walked the walk. Here is the decision of the judges. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Phil Newman scores 119-111. Judge Julio Roldan scores 118-113. And Judge Bill Graham scores 116, 112 for the winner by unanimous decision and undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event, 12 rounds of boxing for the linear, legitimate, and universally recognized, undisputed heavyweight championship of the world! on my right.
and he is fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing his traditional solid black trunks and hailing from Catskill, New York. He weighed in at 234 and one half pounds with a record of 49 wins, three losses, two no contests. He has 43 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the youngest man ever to win the heavyweight title, currently ranked the number one contender by the WBC. Please welcome tonight's challenger, the explosive two-time heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the one and only Iron Mike Tyson. And hiding out of the red corner, wearing white, trimmed with red letters, and officially weighing 249 and one quarter pounds. He captured Olympic gold in 1988. Now, as a professional, he has 39 victories, including 30 knockouts and three world titles. He has two defeats and a draw, all by way of rematch have been changed to victories, making him one of the few men in boxing history to have virtually defeated every man he has ever faced. Ladies and gentlemen, from London, England, presenting the three-time world champion, the Lydian, legitimate, and universally recognized, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Expect a fast start from Tyson. What happens here? And Lewis threatening to be just as assertive himself. And a shot he's been forgetting in recent times. Now he gets close and watch Tyson as caught by a right hand. Two of them, in fact. Uppercuts. Tyson lands first with a left hand. Evander Holyfield says the first real big punch will be crucial. A solid jab from Tyson. Then. Lewis is doing the right thing. He's trying to stand with him. He's trying to use a heavy jab. Caught with a left hook there, Lewis. Goes for it again with a left hook. Great jab. Tyson rediscovering that shot, perhaps under new trainer Ronnie Frocious, being of old, of the late 1980s. The force of nature almost. Tyson trying to take the fight to Lewis, but being largely... Tyson going to the head a bit, he's going to try and switch it to the body. There's the hook again. Lewis's chin passes the test. So far, strength. And hoping the storm will blow itself out who have got through that opening session. Stop the holding, now then, any warnings about that, there'll be point deductions. Can it go to points? Seems unlikely, but you never know. Now you do know it's in the style of Tyson, he has turned the clock back a bit, hasn't he, with that movement. Terrific right uppercut from Lewis. Tyson always had a good chin. Holyfield. This is Lewis getting the jab working now. Tyson, a bit wild with the hooks. Having some success with that punch. And uppercuts on the inside, time being. There's the uppercut again. Can't miss with the jab. He's not slipping them like he used to in his heyday, Tyson. No, that's the jab that's... Lewis does keep his left glove pretty low. Lewis has settled down, hasn't he? Yep, there's a lot better. For... And that's going to plant some doubts in his head. Most definitely, the drum is getting the jab working. Oh, great shot. He's 
still going to try and find a way past that jab. We know he's got one. It's a question of whether he can land it. Getting deep. And at the moment he is. The lights. Left hook. Didn't quite land flush. Point in the fight where many people thought Lewis would take over. He takes another left hook from Tyson. But again, he's taken them well. Up to now anyway. There's a crunching right hand again from Lennox Lewis. Response. Are those people who thought Lewis had a... And another right hand. Tyson looking a bit old in there. This is blood that smeared off Tyson's face onto his. Well, he's really hitting Tyson with all the shots. Look at the jab. Birthday. Lewis, who's older but fresher, and it's showing. Around the face. Lewis is doing a number on him. With his right hands, and down he goes! Tyson! No, he's not going to count it. There was a punch after he'd slipped. But it is not. It was a push. It was a push, I think. It was certainly a punch on the way down, but that is not going to go down as a knockdown. Huge punch. That could happen. Heavyweight title. But look at these jabs. This is really now a bit of swelling there. We'll get a closer look at that. Per plan. Fantastic test taking all the fight out of Tyson. Nothing much coming back. He looks ready to go, Tyson. Now Eddie Cotton is on Lewis's case all the time, isn't he here? Don't do it again. I'm taking another point away. Let's go. Yeah, it's, okay. it's the hold, it's the pushing, it's the leaning on that he's not happy with. Lewis often it is. Tyson is going out tonight. There's some anxiety in that Tyson corner, in both corners, in fact. All night long. Very similar to the one that took out Hassim Ratton. More right hands, another left, another crashing right. Referee has to take a closer. So he's, he's almost ready to quit he almost realizes that it's too tough a job now it's getting late very late another uppercut oh another left hand right hand he didn't touch down finally in the eighth round lewis wobbled the defeated former champion with a ferocious uppercut i was surprised and shocked at some of the punches that he took fighters fight to the end gladiators and that's gonna be perhaps the end of the fight It'll take some courage for Mike to get up from that shot. Seven, eight, nine. He's up. Lennox Lewis knocks out Mike Tyson and banishes him from the upper stratosphere of the heavyweight division. They only give you credit when you knock out people. And people were saying they didn't like the way I boxed, the fact that I boxed too safe. So for me to knock out Mike Tyson gives me a great feeling of accomplishment.